magnificent, merciful. individuals 
in the world that are so concerned about seeing that everybody else is living right. And oftentimes they forget about their own living. And the washers are there. They're even sad to say that there are washer pastors in the world who want other folks to live right. And then they live any kind of way. Sad that there are washer members that want everybody else to love everybody. And they'll go around the back of the building to keep from speaking to each other. Amen. James, however, admonishes us that pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. We need to go and wash. Yes. It is possible that during the washing process you might encounter a washover. And wash over is simply that you have crammed so many things in the washer that in the process everything gets wet, but not everything gets washed. There are some washovers in the world. This occurs when a person takes the Bible and takes a few scriptures that back him up and ignore the rest of the Bible. But the Bible says that all scriptures given by inspiration and is good uh, for instruction in righteous living. Good for reproof, for exhortation, for correction, and, 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 and woe unto anyone that adds to or takes away from the scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's even possible that during this whole process you might encounter a washout. Well, a washout occurs when during the washing you are Especially when you wash it by hand, and in your haste to get everything washed, you manage to throw uh, some article of clothing out with the wash water. My grandmama used to have a saying, don't throw the baby out with the wash water. A washout in, in this life occurs when we in our haste to finish up our services. Get out and get on our way. We have no time to tell some lost soul that the wages of sin is still there. But the gift of God is everlasting life. If we tell them the blood is on them, but if we fail to tell them the blood is on our hand. I don't know about you, but I, I, I'll tell it wherever I go. Wash and be made clean. The main character and our lesson for today is Elisha. Yeah, Elijah was a mentee of Elijah. Yeah, his name means God is salvation. Elijah was chosen by God uh, to succeed Elijah as a prophet to the children of Israel. After Elijah had ascended into heaven in a whirlwind upon a chariot, Elijah picked up the mantle of Elijah and took it uh, back to the Jordan River. There at the Jordan River crossed over to the other side. When the sons of the prophet saw the miraculous power of the Jordan River divine uh, at the hands of the mantle, right. the Bible said that they bowed down and said, surely Elijah is on him. Yes, and they bowed before him. Elijah continued in the ways of the Lord, and the power of God enabled him to perform many miracles. Yeah, according to the list of the, the cast salt into uh, poison water and Jericho and healed the water. He predicted that the Israelites would defeat the Moabites, and they did just that. He even counseled uh, a certain little woman uh, whose husband had died and left her in debt. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the debt collectors were at her door and were about to take her sons uh, and arrest them and put them in uh, a charity prison. But he told her, first of all, he asked her, said, what do you have in your house? And he, she said to him, well, I really ain't got nothing but some empty vessels. And he said to her, well, now go in and gather up all your vessels and gather vessels from your neighbor and take them in the house and then close the door. And the Bible 
says that God wrought a miracle for that widow woman. Said, oil never ran low. As a matter of fact, she had enough oil to fill up all of the vessels. And she was able to sell the oil and pay off her debts. And then her boys could live contentedly off the remainder that she had. I, I come to tell you that there are some things that God has for you and it's you all by yourself. There are some things that you got to go in the house and close the door to the outside world and you got to communicate just between you and God. I heard a hymn writer say early this morning I came to the garden alone Elijah sent his servant 